Hey guys, good afternoon. It's your girl Secret D with your strawberry letter response. So I'm gonna make this very quick because the letter was very simple. I don't remember the title of it because it's now the afternoon and the day has gone by. I've had a long day, but here we go. So this letter is written in by this woman. She is talking about her husband. So long story short, there really isn't much to this. She just keeps describing the same thing over and over, but we're not gonna judge her, right? Because she was looking for help. So basically she doesn't like the fact that her husband is code switching so she said that um you know she loves her husband and you know during covid she realized how much he actually does the flip-flop between work and home so she said he uses a different voice you know he acts differently and she said she you know she's watching him on his um meetings for work and he's he's using big words and she said it sounds weird because of the broken English that he usually speaks and all of these things. She said he recently got a promotion and she ordered some napkins that said H-N-I-C and he was offended and he wouldn't let her use those napkins, right? So she's saying, you know, she didn't see the big deal about it. She thought it was cute gesture and he was like, no, hell no. He was upset, this, that, and the third. So she then just goes on to describe different ways in which she feels like he's acting like them. She feels like he can be more of himself and still be successful at work. And she's calling for advice. That's the gist of it. I mean, I don't really remember exactly what she said, but I feel like she just kept repeating the same things over and over in different ways. So that's the gist of the letter. Now, honestly, HNIC on a dinner to congratulate you for a job it's a little tacky it's not like it's your personal thing it's you know it seems like she may have invited people maybe that he worked with or what have you and i feel like that is a little bit embarrassing especially if you're like with a mixed crowd she said that he has two homeboys that um agree but they make fun of him but they leave him alone now my thing is this if he's still treating you the same he's not cheating on you he's not acting like he's better than you he's not he's not any different in your marriage he's still taking care of house and home he hasn't found himself a secretary to lay up under he hasn't done anything that would make you feel like this is not my husband outside of now covid gave you the opportunity to see how he is outside of the house when he's at work and whatever he's been doing obviously is working because he just got a promotion i don't think you should worry about it i feel like you're adding drama into your marriage where it doesn't need to be because this man again before covid you had no clue what he did at work how he was at work because he came home and you were his safe space you were the place where he feels like he can be 100 percent himself a lot of people don't feel like they can do that at work and therefore they don't he's not the first he won't be the last and i think you should leave him alone